so hi guys in this video i am going to talk to you about the thomas test what exactly is thomas test some of you might be very much aware of that but thomas test is one test which is done to assess the fixed flexion deformity of the hip now what is the meaning of fixed flexion deformity of the hip fixed flexion deformity of the hip means that from a particular fixed attitude of the hip the patient can further flex the hip but he cannot extend it okay so further extension is not possible but further flexion is possible that's what you call the fixed flexion deformity of the hip okay so how to do it i'm just trying to show you by uh, demonstrating the test on a patient and i hope that this visualization of the test will help you out to retain the thomas test for a long time how to do it let's see that so now you see a old video of mine my one of my patient who was having a tuberculosis of the spine as well as tuberculosis of the hip joint okay he was a rickshaw puller and he was given all the course of uh, att and all the supportive management and once the tuberculosis foci healed he came to us with this kind of complaint that when he is lying on the bed you can all appreciate that his left hip is off the couch right flexion deformity so he cannot straighten this hip that means for that extension is not possible but flexion is possible so that is what you call a fixed flexion deformity of the hip now how to do the thomas test patient says sir i am not able to pedal my rickshaw properly please correct my deformity it's only a little bit deformity isn't it that is what he is showing us but in real is that the only deformity he is having is that so no he is actually hiding his real deformity how he is hiding his real deformity by exaggerating his lumbar lordosis now see his lower back you can very well appreciate a gap between his lumbar spine and the couch we all know that if you touch your own lumbar spine you know you are having a lordotic curvature only but this patient is exaggerating the lumbar curvature so that the flexion deformity can be hide so that he can compensate for it so as a examiner what i do the patient is lying comfortably on the couch so as a examiner first i'll introduce my hand beneath the patient's lower back now see this when i insert my hand it easily goes in so this confirms exaggerated lordosis now my first step would be to finish off the exaggerated lordosis now what to do for that what we do we flex the normal hip of the patient once the patient flexes the normal hip now see the exaggerated lumbar lordosis it is obliterated it is finished i am not saying the lumbar spine is flat i am just saying exaggerated lordosis is obliterated so normal lordotic curvature is seen over there now see the flexion of the hip is the real deformity so initially he was showing us an angle of some 10 15 degrees 20 degrees like that but now the angle has increased to almost 40 to 50 degrees so this is the real fixed flexion deformity of the hip so guys please don't confuse a fixed flexion deformity with a flexion deformity of the hip mild flexion deformity means it is easily correctable you stretch it and you correct it but this one is the fixed flexion deformity so this was our thomas test appreciate for the exaggerated lordosis finish the or obliterate the exaggerated lordosis and your actual deformity will be seen this is thomas test one of the most important test which can be asked in any of your exam whether it is a practical one theoretical one or the pgme is also okay i hope the visualization would have definitely helped you out to understand thomas test in a better way